Good readings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm making a video that my children requested. Today I'm going to be tasting many sports drinks, but more importantly, I'm going to be mixing them all together and then tasting the final product. I love this sense of concoction, adventure, and slight little bit of mischief. I don't know if you were one of these kinds of kids when you were little, but I certainly was. I loved kind of experimenting in the kitchen, namely, but trying to make something tasty. But there was always a couple kids at lunch that liked to experiment, including my own child, who would like to experiment in the cafeteria and mix certain things on a dare, or soft dare, or just to get a rise out of people. I hope you have a similar memory as well. I think it's a delightful way to kind of push the envelope of flavors and be a little bit more adventuresome. So today I'm going to be mixing a hundred sports drinks together and tasting the final result. I will be tasting several of the flavors as well because the majority of the flavors seen behind me I have not tasted. Many of the brands I have not even seen before. So it should be a well hydrated episode, I think. I also want to mention that today's inspiration comes from hang time. So I am old enough to remember when sports drinks was just sport drink and it was Gatorade and it came in a glass bottle that was a little bit textured. It was a glass bottle that kind of narrowed up and it had a metal orange lid. Most of the stuff is just water with some salt and sugar, which is what electric light drink is primarily made of. I think some of them had thickeners, of course, colors and flavors. I believe some of these have caffeine and some other herbs to enhance performance. Sports drinks are supposed to replenish those salts, electrolytes, and sugars that we have lost after we've exerted ourselves doing lots of strenuous exercise. So I mentioned Gatorade. So let's start there. We'll do a hug transfer. Oh, oh. So, because I have a hundred flavors here, I'm not going to be tasting all of them. I'm just going to be tasting ones that I find more interesting. This to me is the OG. This is the original Gatorade. This is the bright fluorescent antifreeze colored Gatorade that I remember. And it's the lemon lime. If I had to pick a sports drink in terms of a, one that I would go for, it would be this one. And later came orange and fruit punch. These in my book are the kind of original flavors. I believe in the nineties, they started coming out with a kind of frost line, um, including Riptide Rush, which was we and I's favorite. I didn't see it at the supermarket, but here's the frost line. So they started coming out with blue colors as well. So many of these sports drinks I've noticed are advertised as low sugar or zero sugar, which doesn't mean they're not sweet. They just use an artificial sweetener that doesn't show up as caloric. This is new to me, Gatorade Fast Twitch. So this is new to me, this whole fit line, G fit line. This square bottle reminds me of Pedialyte. I remember it was recommended by my brother's pediatrician. I remember tasting, taking a little sip because I'm like, ooh, I wanna try that. And, and being kind of surprised by how I didn't like the taste. This empty water bottle is about 100 fluid ounces and two tablespoons equals one ounce. So the theory is, two tablespoons of each one of these drinks should fill this up and we'll have our master sports drink that we can taste at the end. Precisely two tablespoons, isn't that great? This is lime cucumber. Smells like cucumber, but more like cucumber soap. Bloop. In the name of sanitation, we'll use a separate spoon for a taste test. Alrighty, lime cucumber, come by. Hmm. It tastes like <laughs> cucumber lotion. It's sweet, it has a little bit of acidity to it, which I appreciate, and the classic viscosity of a sports drink. A little bit thicker than water for sure. Oh, not bad, but I personally am not a huge fan of cucumber. So what do they put in it to make it thicker? I don't know, you know gum Arabic. Okay, now I know. Gator Light, and this is in orange. Ooh, this seems thicker. Hmm. Tastes just exactly like the orange flavor of Gatorade, but with fake sugar and it's thicker in consistency. Mmm, not my favorite. I really have a sensitive palate to fake sugars. It always tastes kind of bitter and strange at the end. Fast Twitch Glacier Freeze. It's like a purplish color. It smells like raspberry. 
Ooh. Bleh. That's terrible. It's so sweet. Uh, it only has five calories, so it has fake sugar in it. Syrupy sweet. Bleh. Fit. Watermelon juice concentrate. Whoa. It smells a little bit like artificial candy smell. Like fake watermelon. Ooh. That has a viscosity to it. It has a little bit of funkiness to it. A little bit like coconut water with an artificial tropical peachy passion fruit flavor to it. But uh, the funky flavor I don't care for. Whoa, Glacier Cherry smells terrible. Wow. What is an Arctic Blitz? It's a nice color. Alrighty lovelies, this is the bottle of Gatorade Potion. It's a kind of purplish brown color at the moment. Next we're going to try a line I've never tasted before. These are called Lemon Perfect, hydrating lemon water. So zero sugar. I'm going to try the original lemon. Wow, I was expecting it to be tart. It's very sweet and not lemony. No, I don't like stevia. I feel like it leaves a particularly strong aftertaste. I'm very disappointed in that. I was really hoping that would be lemony, lemonadey, and it's not. It's just sweet and syrupy. So I will not be bothering to taste the others. Ooh, this one smells like a Flintstones vitamin, complete with a kind of metallic scent, irony scent, and that is the blueberry, but they're clear. I do appreciate there's no added food coloring. I've never tried this before. These are true rescue. These come in a metal can. Oh, these are carbonated with stevia. By the way, all of these drinks filled up an entire wheelbarrow. I moved them from my car using a wheelbarrow. Okay, just throwing that out there. Blackberry. Oh, again, why are they so sweet? Light berry flavor and very light effervescence. Mm, I like the citrus smell, but I'm not gonna taste it. Next, let's try Prime. Great graphic design. I would say targeted toward young men and boys in particular. And what makes me think that are the very primary colors, Glowberry. That is something you can find in Minecraft. Apparently Glowberry is not trademarked. So this has 25 calories. So it's coconut water. Interesting. And has sucralose. Glow in the dark, charge in the sun. Let's put that to the test. So it's okay to drink glow in the dark beverage? I don't know, what makes it glow in the dark? This one I think is genius ice pop, like the packaging, everything, the flavor, very nostalgic. A little dedication to those tri-colored popsicles of our summers as little kids. This is Tropical Punch. Ooh, smells just like Hawaiian Punch, exactly. Oh, this one has a little bit of color to it actually. It's a little bit red. Whoa, very sweet. Don't taste the coconut water at all. Yeah, actually pretty similar to Hawaiian Punch in terms of flavor and level of sweetness. Like as sweet as Kool-Aid almost. Uh, finishes with a artificial sweetener flavor. Not a fan. Lemon lime. Ooh, a little bit like sweaty socks mixed with the lemon lime Gatorade. Appetizing, right? Glowberry. Gosh, again, so very sweet. Tastes like punch. Ice pop. Oof, no, that tastes like cherry. Don't like that one at all. But if you're into cherry lifesavers, 
That's what this one tastes like. Electrolit. These also have a square bottle and a cap that very much reminds me of Pedialyte. 130 calories per bottle. So this one's made with regular sugar. Actually, dextrose. I don't know, let's see. These are very easy to open. I like that. Cap has a lot of surface area to it and it's not so sharp, so it doesn't really hurt your hand. Ooh, I really don't like fruit punch. I like these a little bit more because they're not as sweet. These I find less offensive. Body armor. I have the light, then I have zero, and then the regular, which is made, oh, this is also made with coconut water too. Let's try the Mamba. This is dedicated to Kobe, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Number eight and 24, it smells neither of strawberry or grape. All right, here we go. Ooh, no. I don't really like the initial flavor because it's the coconut water, it's a little bit funky, but I do like that it's not very sweet. I actually like these better than say the Prime, for example, because they're, it's not that sweet. It's more like flavored water with a little bit of thickener in coconut water. I still don't like it. Color on these are nice too, in the sense that they're not overly dyed. There's someone at the gym that has this all the time. I see it sitting by the lockers. I always think of strawberry banana as being a thick kind of drink. I'm curious about this one. No, it does not taste of strawberries or banana. Never been a huge fan of that combination anyways. Alrighty, let's try light. Ooh, very sweet, but fake sugary sweet. That one's just terrible. Alrighty, lovelies, next we have Powerade. I feel like this was the first direct big competitor to Gatorade in my recollection. And they have a zero, which as you probably already know, I'm not gonna like, I think, because it's made with a fake sugar. So I'm not even going to taste test the zero ones, but I do want to taste test the lemon lime regular because I'm curious to see how it compares to the Gatorade. I feel silly because I'm wearing a dish glove, but it helps me open these bottles. These short little squat ones with the lots of little toothy things hurt when you open them, but the glove is helping me out. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Gatorade. We can compare. The Gatorade looks a little greener than the Powerade, which looks a little yellower. Actually pretty similar. I like the level of sweetness. It's sweet, but not too sweet of both of those. And the lemon lime flavor is good. Similar, but not exactly the same. Alrighty, I'm gonna go with all the Powerades next to add to my bottle of concoction. At this point, it looks kind of like a pinkish brown color. The only ones that I found that came in a paper container, and these are called BioSteel. And this one is Rainbow Twist, White Freeze, another vague, I don't know what kind of flavor that is, and Blue Raspberry. So that smells like blue raspberry, but it's clear. Wow, wow. Syrupy sweet. These are all kind of chilled. Oftentimes they add more sugar to things because when you have drinks that are cold or foods that are cold, they taste less flavorful. So oftentimes like ice cream, for example, is very, very sweet because of that exact reason. This is super, super sweet. Stevia extract, not a fan. This is Karma prebiotic water, strawberry lemonade. Uh, very stylish packaging. But then you have this powder on top. It's just like candy or something on top. And you're supposed to push this into the water. This is fun. Gives you a little bit of interactive playfulness. And then you, you push it. It's kind of like a ramen soda. Oh, look. So you push it down and look. I mean, I have to give points to this for sure for the playfulness of this packaging. That's a little bit weird. It smells citrusy. Strawberry lemonade. Ooh, no. Uh, don't care for the flavor. <laughs> Very artificial, quite sweet. Uh, it does have the viscosity of a sports drink. Now, I should have said this at the very beginning, but taste is subjective. So 
your taste may not align in terms of preferences to mine. I happen to love citrus flavors, for example, and you may not. You may like berry flavors or cherry flavors. So the things I express as tasting delicious may not align with yours because again, taste is subjective. Next, let's try organic treo. Trio, only 20 calories. And this is made with birch sap. Interesting. And they do settle, which I think for some people that might be less attractive. Ooh, initially I liked it because it has a nice kind of acidity to it, but it too kind of has like a funky flavor to it. And then it finishes very bitter with that artificial sweetener flavor. Vitamin one, this is no sugar, nut free, gluten free, no caffeine. Oh, so maybe this doesn't have any sweetener in it at all. Oh no, it has sucralose. Okay, it says there's no sugar in it, but it's very sweet. Oh man, I was disappointed in that. Finally, we're gonna finish with vitamin water. So vitamin water has been around for a while. It came after Powerade and of course way after Gatorade. So of these ones, I think the only one I really wanna try is the coconut lime. That sounds interesting to me. The color is unusual. It looks a little bit like algae water. <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't smell like Bacardi. It tastes not good. It tastes a little bit more natural coconutty, a little bit more like um, like canned coconut, but then it has the fake sugar in it, and so that makes it kind of bitter for me. But I don't taste any lime, which I find disappointing. I want it to be a little bit tangy, but it's not. I'm gonna just keep going with these, and we'll come back and taste our master sauce drink. <laughs> Here is all of the sports drinks combined into one master sports drink. 100 flavors, 100 bottles in one bottle. I'm very curious to see how my taste buds react to this. My entire kitchen smells of just vague fruit flavor, so I don't even know if I'll be able to distinguish anything, but my kids requested it and, and here it is. <laughs> The color, I have to say, is not all that attractive. It's a kind of a pinkish, purplish, ultimately kind of brown. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Alrighty, 100 flavors. Cheers. Huh. Well, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super, super sweet. And it's not as sweet as I expected. No particular distinctive flavor, although there is a definite artificial sugar aftertaste. Definitely present and prevalent. Not a fan of that. I think I can detect some fruit punch for sure, some cucumber, little coconut, and some peach. All clearly artificial. And I think that's my biggest takeaway. I'm surprised at how sweet these sports drinks are. Many of them, even though they say they're zero calories and they are zero calories or low calorie because they're using fake sugars, they don't have the calories, but they are definitely sweet and way sweeter than I'm used to. I mostly drink fizzy water and water myself, so maybe my palate is tuned down for less of a sweetness or maybe my own preferences are for less sweet. If I had a hankering for an electrolyte drink, I would still probably grab the classic lemon lime flavor in Gatorade with the regular sugar. This is what I think of in my mind and associate with a sports drink. All right, my lovelies, there you have it. 100 sports drinks all mixed together into the master sports drink. I'm about to go share this with my children because I think they'll be very excited to see what this tastes like. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs> I feel really weird. I don't know if it's just the overstimulation of my senses, too many smells, too much sugar. I think that's probably what it is. Alrighty, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh man, I feel strange. <laughs>